Naya Rivera's mother, Yolanda Prevatire, is opening up about the loss of her daughter, exactly one year after the 33-year-old Glee alum was first reported missing. In an appearance on Thursday's Good Morning America, Prevatire sat alongside Rivera's younger sister, Nikayla, and emotionally recounted her final time talking to her daughter, the hell on earth, of those first five days during the recovery efforts and the family's continuing sorrow a year later. Sometimes we're afraid of the sorrow being so heavy that we're afraid for our own self, cause this is hard. There are no words to describe what we're going through, Prevatire said of the family's shared sadness. All we know is we have each other. Speaking with ABC News' Juju Chong, Prevatire shared details about the final time she talked to her daughter, the day Rivera and her son, Josie, were on the lake. I missed two of her FaceTime calls, and I called her back. And we had a beautiful conversation. The son was kissing her face and she was just beautiful, Prevatire recounted. She had a white, beautiful swimming suit on and she was glowing. During their conversation, Prevatire said she noted to her daughter that the lake conditions were choppy but to, call me when you get off the water. While she was unable to take screenshots of Rivera, Prevatire was able to take screenshots of Josie, which ultimately helped the rescue team locate Rivera during that multi-day search, which she and Nikayla called, Hell on Earth. My faith told me that nothing is missing, surely not a person, Prevatire said. Yes, we just can't find them. So that was my thing. God, you know where she's at, just bring her back to us. Thank God I took the pictures because they were able to look at the topography of the land to locate where they were, she continued. At one point in the interview, Rivera's mother described hearing the news that her grandson had been recovered by a fellow boater, but that they couldn't locate her daughter. He told us he said, don't worry, we have Josie but your daughter's missing, Prevatire recalled. And it was almost like a force. I don't know what it was but I literally, I was just pushed backwards, just screaming. Nikayla Rivera, who moved in with Josie's father and said she, knew the role that I had to take, following her sister's death, said the family, which GMA confirmed as in therapy, is taking it all, one day at a time. Taking that one day at a time and living it to the fullest, loving each other to the fullest and not regretting anything, Nikayla said. Because I know if we could go back, we'd hug a little bit harder. Prevatire shared that now when she looks at Josie, she sees her daughter. I see Josie, and it's almost like it's so reminiscent because he's like a boy version of her in every sense of the word, she said. Just his tenacity, his drive his zeal, his adventure for life.